I've never experienced any sport other than climbing where the mind and the body work so closely together. It was this passion that I needed in my life in order to feel balanced in all other aspects of my life. I like challenging things in life. Climbing is a challenging activity. It definitely takes a different personality. For me, I think it mostly has to do with uh, sort of seeking the unknown and going out and looking for your own, your own tracks into the mountains. I really started climbing in earnest when I was about 18. I was obsessed. I couldn't do it enough. Like it's just something that is in me that I have to like overcome these difficulties, these challenges, and that's part of what draws me to that. I was really excited when Mr. Ranch approached me and asked if I'd want to join the ambassador team. I knew it would open up a bunch of opportunity to work with the company with uh, product development. I've always been fascinated with ergonomics, how movement and geometry interface. Everybody moves a little bit different, but they all move the same way. You can't design a backpack for every individual. You can design a backpack that fits and moves with those fundamental archetypal human movements that everybody has, the geometry that everybody has. So this is a scepter. Uh, we wanted the scepter to be pretty versatile in terms of how athletes wanted to use it. So that meant that it has to have a lot of features, but have, be able to be stripped down to where someone can take a bunch of stuff off of it and make it a bare bones bag. Pretty much just a, a sack. I have always sewn. I got a sewing machine when I was 13. My dad always fixed his own clothes. So I started learning from him when I was really young. I think my favorite thing about the pack itself is how simple they are. Simple, but also highly configurable to how someone wants to run their bag with all of their gear on it. Everyone wants something different out of a pack. The Scepter's just a classic uh, pillar ice climb. It's a nice challenge depending on the conditions. It can form in um, in many different ways and usually the upper half of the climb is, is relatively engaging. It's got some really great features that have the ability to test a wide variety of climbers and it demands respect on any given day. So obviously, the very beginning of any design process is a need and a user. I start out with a basic product brief that has a pretty loose set of parameters on it, and I start doing art. Basic concept art in 2D, a real rough draft of what I want this project to turn out like. Even at this early stage in the design, I'm already beginning to think about how the user is moving, how the pack needs to fit with the movement specific to climbing. To be able to dial in a style of movement to do what the rock climb demands of you is this beautiful game of physicality as well as mental engagement. You drop into this most perfect flow state. It's almost like a dance. Once I have a basic idea I'm satisfied with, I create the actual shape of the bag, the volume of the bag. Uh, the feature sets where I'm putting compressions, where I'm putting pockets, where I'm putting zippers. And from there, we will start taking these basic patterns and I will do prototypes until I'm satisfied. That's one of the things that sets apart Mystery Ranch from a lot of the other pack companies is that we have this in-house prototyping process to where we're going to make a prototype and then we're going to look at all the feature sets and how they work together and then we're going to change it and we're going to make another prototype. And then we're going to look at that, and we're going to make another prototype. Mr. Ranch is sort of handing me packs, and I'm testing them, I'm doing what I do best, at, you know, out there climbing all over the country. And you notice, you know, that this could be changed or that could be changed. And then I come back and talk with Shiloh, and we start cutting things apart, and sewing things back together, and it, it just pushes this uh, evolution of the backpack through uh, the prototyping process. 
and then I take it back out again. And then I'm gonna give it to Aaron and they're gonna further refine that. Aaron's gonna go and make sure that the material's actually going to work. She's gonna have it tested to see if it actually will fit our fit for use guidelines. They're gonna make more prototypes of it until we have all the materials, all the feature sets, buckle sets, working in a synchronicity that we're all satisfied with. Being involved in product development of it really makes working with a brand worthwhile. Geeking out to make things better and engineering it, I'm, I'm way into that kind of stuff. Working with the ambassadors is great because I'm not a climber myself. When we have our ambassadors in and we can sit down and talk with them, we can get some really good information in terms of how to actually design the bag according to their use. If they want that product and it's working really, really well for them, that means it's also going to work for everyone else who maybe isn't a pro athlete or an ambassador. The people who are using this, I mean, they're doing dangerous stuff. It's important. Like, it has to work. Gravity never sleeps. At any point, if you fall, you're, you know, you're gonna take the ride. It feels really good when you clip the top chains and you've done the whole pitch without falling and you have success. It's just like a euphoric feeling. Keeps you coming back. So maybe like one out of 20, you get that. So a lot of times, you know, you just leave hungry. Failure is a huge part of climbing. I think it's good to, to fail. You learn a lot about yourself. I have a whole box of stuff down there that doesn't work. <laughs> Failure is basically a huge part of my life and you learn to use the failures and successes appropriately to continue creating such a cool thing to watch an idea become fully through the process into something that's real and tangible and around and all of a sudden you're seeing it on people. I think that's the coolest part of the job. It's cool when someone's doing something that requires a ton of skill and experience and guts and they're using a bag that you designed to like fulfill their their like adventure. That's that's awesome. We carry ourselves to such a high standard and we tell people we make the best backpacks in the world, you know, you kind of have to make the best backpack in the world, more or less. <laughs> if it was just wearing the pack, it wouldn't have as much value, but being involved with the development of it to make it better, to get something that will become a better climbing pack, that's, that's a good cause, you know, for the community.